guys, welcome back to my channel, Life According to Minnie. Today I wanted to come on and um, go through a couple of new products I've brought. Um, one being a foundation, the Elizabeth Arden. Um, it's Flawless Finish Perfectly Satin 24 Hour Makeup with an SPF, SPF of 15. Um, and I got it in shade two which is cream nude so that is it. it's a little bit shiny trying to uh, get that to focus i think it has can't really see oh there that might have been it um yeah so i got that in cream nude is it gonna focus Probably not. I don't know if it has. I think it has slightly. I haven't got my glasses on. Okay. Um, so I did, uh, I went to the counter and they actually gave me um, a seven day sample of this to try out. And I was actually quite impressed. Um, I normally use, um, well my main foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, but I found lately, because my skin, as you can see, I've got nothing on my face currently. Well, only, well, I'll go through what I've got on my face in a minute. But um, with my skin being hormonal, um, which is because I'm going through perimenopause, I've got hormonal acne from that. And I get a bit of shine and I've got open pores. And because of that, I found the Estee Lauder. I mean, it's a fantastic coverage, it's great, but it's kind of going shiny through the day for me. And it's feeling sort of wet and sticky, tacky. So I just wanted to find something else that was, that wouldn't do that. Um, and I found this, the Elizabeth Arden, well, I didn't say I didn't find it, I was, it was recommended to me. So I thought I'd go and get a sample. Um, I always do that, especially with a foundation, because it's so expensive that you don't want to pay out all that money and then you find that actually it's not that, that good. So yeah, they gave me a seven day sample and I really liked it. The only thing I found with it was it was a little bit drying and I think that's mainly because I use Differin um, gel most nights and that does dry out your skin. So I think it's going to be hard to find something that doesn't make me shiny and doesn't make my skin look dry. But it wasn't too bad, if you know what I mean. I think it was just close up that it looked a little bit dry so no i was really impressed with it i thought it was a lovely foundation it felt a lot lighter than the double wear um but gave just as good coverage so i was really impressed with it actually so yeah so i've got a, a brand new bottle here not been opened so i'm going to put it on um with you guys so um, firstly, I have obviously cleansed my skin um, and I've gone in with the Olay Complete Day Cream. Is that a Q? Q? No, it's not a Q. It's just a pattern. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. So I've gone in with that um, onto my face. Um, I love this cream. It's not something I would go and buy, but somebody got it me for Christmas and i thought oh i'll try it and i just love the smell it just reminds me of the old like years ago how oh you know when your mum used to use Olay back in the day <laughs> back in the day that was kind they had Olay but it wasn't called Olay back then it was called oil of you lay um that's going back a bit um, yeah, they had Oil of Ule and they had Pond's Cream. And I think that was probably it, the choice of face creams. <laughs> so, yeah, it just reminds me of years ago. And it just feels, it really feels lovely on the skin, really hydrating. And um, it's not too thick and heavy. 
it's just nice actually I'll show you a little bit on my hand um, it just feels really lovely so that's it and it it just um, sinks in really nice it's not sticky it just feels really hydrating and it feel I tell you what it feels like it feels comforting <laughs> if that makes sense Makes sense in my little head. Um, yeah, it's it's a comforting cream. But yeah, I recommend that. So I've got that on. Um, I've then gone in with my SPF, of course. Um, I need to get another one of these, actually. It's going to run out soon. Um, my Aven, 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 I don't know how you say it. Um, Avene, Avene sounds more French, doesn't it? Maybe it is Avene. Um, SPF 50 I use on my face um, highly recommend that it's a wonderful SPF um, for your face it feels nice it's moisturizing and it's fantastic coverage and it's not um, a thick a, th a thick a thick white um, chalky one if you know what I mean it doesn't leave leave a thick white um, cream on your face as some can. I know they do another one which I've got actually um, that does do that. I, I know I've mentioned it before in another video. Um, it's in here somewhere. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, that one. That one that they do does leave quite a thick white um, on the face. Let me show you on my hand. So. Yeah, it's quite it's quite heavy isn't it yeah um but i mean that is that feels lovely as well and if you can i mean if you're putting it on and you're putting makeup on the top then it's not too much but see how white that looks now um i mean i'm pale anyway but yeah um that is quite white um it's quite hefty but um you put your makeup on, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? So, yeah. So, yeah, I've got my SPF on. And then I went in with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicon Primer. Um, I bought this last year at the beginning, sort of early last year. And I used it for a while. Is it focusing? Yeah. And I fell out of love with it a little bit, and I don't know why, but I've just started using it again. And I'll tell you why I've started to use it again. Um, when I, I used to use, the only product I've ever used from Elizabeth Arden has been the silicone primer that they do. In the past, I've bought that as a bit of a treat, and it is, it is the best primer I've ever used, ever. Um... I don't have it at the moment because it's just so expensive. <laughs> Maybe I should, that'll be my next treat so I can match it with the foundation. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, knowing that they do a silicone primer, um, possibly to go with their foundation, I thought, oh, I've got this silicone primer. Maybe I'll try that with it. So um, that's what I've been doing when I've been using the sample of the foundation. So, yeah, so I've got that on. That was a long way round to, sh to tell you what I've got on my face. Um, and then I've gone in with the Pixie Glow Booster Illuminator. Um, I had this in my advent calendar, which I've mentioned in another video. Um, and that just gives a little bit of an illumination, you know, illumination to the face. Um, gives you a bit of glow under your... A new foundation hopefully I use it I put it on but I don't really see because I think once you put your foundation on I don't really think you see what you've put on under it so we well, shouldn't if it's a good foundation anyway I put it on just because I've got it and you know um I'm going to do a separate video but a week ago I had my hair done it's a lot lighter it's I've just had stage two of three done to to have balayage um it's a lot lighter so you might have noticed a difference but i am going to do a separate video on that and i also two weeks ago had 
uh, Nouveau eyelash extensions. I'm looking at the screen again. Eyelash extensions put on. I'm actually going back later today um, to have the infills done because some of them have come off, which they do naturally, apparently. So, yeah, I think that could be an expensive game. I, I don't know if I'm going to do carry on with home undone. I like them. I love it, but I just think it's going to be an expensive treat maybe but then I suppose it's just yeah it is a bit of a luxury isn't it um but it's been really nice not having to put mascara on like I know you you still have to put it on your bottom lashes but not on the top anyway rambled enough I'm going to carry on with doing this foundation so I just thought I'd mention my hair my hair I sounded very posh then um oh hello <laughs> squeaky lid i'm sorry so i'm gonna give it a shake i always shake things i think they do need shaking shaking i'm gonna have a drink or two keeping it real guys keeping it real now i'm gonna do one side of my face with a sponge it's the rail technique sponge um it's damp and i'm also going to use on the other half of my face a um real techniques foundation brush i think it's the foundation brush yeah it is the fan is it the foundation brush or is it the buffing brush i don't know i know i've got the foundation brush I don't think this is the foundation brush. I think the foundation brush is like slanted. I need to find it now. This is my box of brushes. <laughs> yeah, this look. I'm sure that's the foundation brush. I never use it. It's pretty damn useless, to be fair. Yeah, I much prefer this. Um... I love like dabbing uh, foundation with it so and I'm going to try it with a beauty blender well it's a real technique blender but um, I don't use this very often because I don't know I just prefer a brush but I'm going to do one half so my mirror's here bear with me I'm going to be as quick as I can have another slab of tea We like our tea in Britain. We do like our tea. I was actually talking to somebody today on social media about the weather, because that's what we do here. And um, I said, <laughs> I said uh, we had this whole conversation about weather, because apparently it's going to snow tomorrow again. Um, so yeah. And then <laughs> I said after, Oh, how very British we've been today. Fancy a cup of tea? <laughs> I found it funny. It was funny at the time. You had to be there, I guess. Right, I've also got quite a sore red neck, and I think that's from um, my different gel that happens. So, this is going to be really hard. So, uh, I'm going to do that side with the brush and that side with the beauty blender. So I'm just going to start sort of dabbing. I'm guessing well, there won't be much of a difference. But you never know, I guess. You never know. I've also had a really dry lip moment. Sore and dry. A breakout. You went to the other side. Don't want to go to the other side. Um, yeah, not been my skin's not been brilliant just lately. But I think it's because I've just been a bit run down lately. That's why. Also, I haven't been eating very well. Um I'm vegetarian, but so I, I do eat help my meals are really healthy. But I've been eating rubbish just lately, which isn't good, is it? Uh, oh. Hi, J. 
just don't like makeup sponges. I mean, look, it's just not blending in. I don't know what it is. Is it just me? I know, well, I know there's a few people I watch on YouTube that just doesn't like them. Really. So I'm going to go in with another, another coating, it's like I'm painting. Yeah. I guess it is a bit like that, isn't it? You prime, <laughs> prime the surface. It's a shame you can't sand your face. Well, I suppose you can if you exfoliate. Sorry, that was my phone, I've got an email. Um, yeah, I guess you can exfoliate, but I don't do that nonsense because it's really not good for your skin. Um, think about what you're doing. You're really irritating your skin by exfoliating. Go and watch um, Dr. Dre. She's amazing. Um, and she's taught me so much about skincare and do's and don'ts and... It's really changed the way I look after my skin. See, I've ditched the beauty blender now and I'm going with the brush because I just find it better. Maybe it's my skin. I think everyone's different, aren't they? And everybody's skin is different. So um, what works for somebody else might not work for me and vice versa. Obviously. I'm such a dick sometimes. Right. You know, I've been told in the past that you shouldn't go take your foundation like on your eyes. And I never know what to do. Like sometimes I do and sometimes sometimes I don't. What does everyone else do? I think I might just take it on the top. But I'm not going to take it under the eyes too much. Do you know, as well, because I'm taking more care of my skin and I'm using different, so I have to use a high um, SPF on my face, um, I'm not tanning as much. So my skin tone is a lot lighter than it used to be because I used to be a bit of a sun worshipper, can you tell? The wrinkles. Um, don't do it kids. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, the, that's a, kind of a bit of the reason why I fell out in love, fell out in love, fell out of love with Estee Lauder foundation because it was a little bit dark for me as well so what I was looking for a lighter foundation um, as in colour lighter and I just fancied a change and as I say the Estee Lauder was becoming really tacky and sticky throughout the day with the shine so um, I think this shade is absolutely perfect for me and at Elizabeth Arden they're so good because they have this machine I don't know what it's called it's a machine <laughs> and they they take you if you've got makeup on they take makeup off in, in a section but they will fill it back in for you they won't let you walk out with a, a big stripe <laughs> that'd be funny wouldn't it um <laughs> anyway they this this little handheld machine goes on your face and it like scans your skin and it comes up with three shades of foundation that would suit you and she she did it three times in like three different areas and each time it came up with three different shades on the three so like nine shades but each time she did it this shade um Cream Nude, is it Cream Nude? Have I just remembered that right? Yeah, Cream Nude, number two. 
that came out each time so she was like I'm sure that's the one so she gave me the sample they were so lovely um, and she was right I think it's perfect um, I mean yeah it's slightly more colour than my neck like my natural skin but I really like it I think it's a lovely lovely foundation I am so pleased with it it's not too heavy, it's not cakey, um, as you know, I've mentioned before in a previous video, I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Now that is an, it's an absolutely fantastic foundation and it gives great coverage and it's brilliant for photography if, you, if you're taking photos of, you, of your face, of yourself. <laughs> um, it's really good. However, with having older skin, it does settle into wrinkles and pores and it's a bit cakey. So you find yourself throughout the day like trying to spread it out because it's settling all the time. Um, but it's not bad. You know, if you're going on a night out, it's not so bad because if it's dark, you're not going to see it as much. And because it's only a few hours, if you're going out for a few hours, it's not so bad um, to do that and wear that. But... Um, but this, I bloody love it. Look at it for a daytime foundation. How great does that look? I am so impressed with it. So chuffed. So I'm just going to check because I'm blind. So I'm telling you it looks great, but I'm actually blind. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. Or I'll have to take your word for it. What do you think, guys? Elizabeth Harden. Love it. I really love it and I'm so impressed. So yeah. So I've preferred applying it with this buffing brush. Um, you can use that or a stippling brush. I've got a stippling brush as well. Sometimes I use one of those just to, you know, finish off, dab it in, make sure it's all blended. Well, I would have to do that with Estee Lauder foundation, definitely. Um, however, I don't feel like I need to do it with this. I think this is wonderful. I think the, the shade is great. Uh, it feels great. It's still slightly sticky at the moment, but I'm going to put a little bit of finishing, like setting powder on my face and put some bronzer on and just, you know, freshen up. So I'll come back when I've done all that. So see you shortly. I'm back. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've put the rest of my makeup on, a um, bit of setting powder, blusher, um, eyebrows, a little bit of eyeshadow in my crease, or above my crease I should say, because my hoodie dies, um, and my one of my very favourite lipsticks, which is Cherry Pop by Clinique. Um, and that's my look. I can't put any um, other eye makeup on because I'm looking at the screen because um, I'm going to get my eyelashes done. So there's just no point in putting eye makeup on as much as I'd like. All I've done is put a little bit of white eyeliner to brighten my eyes on my lower rim. Rim? Is that what it's called? The little in there? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, um, so yeah, foundation. What do you think? I am so chuffed with it. Well, I think anyway. <laughs> Don't know what it looks like really in the camera because I haven't watched it. Um, well, by the time you watch it, I would have watched it. Revelation. <laughs> anyway. The other product, before I get a product, the other, I can't speak today. <laughs> Rewind. Um, the other product I wanted to talk to you about is the, um, I picked this up after somebody on YouTube mentioned about it. Um, now I'm using different on my skin um, for acne and I heard that this is good. Well, yeah. 
there's a lot of reports that saying that it's good and it's the Olay Eyes um, I'm reading the French side it's not gonna work is it really I may look French today but I'm so not I couldn't be further away from being French um, it's the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment um, for deep wrinkles. I'm all about the wrinkles. So, I'm going to give that a go. Well, say give it a go. I've been used, I've used it twice now. Um, it says to use morning or evening. And I've been putting it on of an evening um, before bed. Um, a bit, bit hesitant to use a retinol or retinoid or whatever you want to call them in the daytime um, <sighs> makes me nervous um, because of the sun exposure and da 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 um, so yeah I just put it on um, during my I can't speak today during my skin care routine evening skin care routine and yeah Obviously, I've only used it twice. I wouldn't have noticed the difference yet. If it was that miraculous, I would have said. But, no. <laughs> Even without my glasses on, I can see they're still there. Those babies are still there. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to give that a go. So, it says that you notice the difference within four weeks. So, I will keep you updated on that if you want me to. Um, it's the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment and it is actually on offer at the moment in Boots, um, UK Boots and it's down to 19.99. I think it usually retails at £30 so that's pretty darn good saving of £10 so that's why I brought it um, while it was on offer because imagine if you bought 30, spent £30 on it and it didn't work. Yeah. £20 not so bad. £30 not so good. <laughs> anyway, so that's it, guys. That's all I've got for you right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do another video video. I haven't been drinking, just just the tea. <laughs> I'm gonna do another video on my hair. Um I did a little bit of um the day I got my eyelashes done and I, the day I had my hair done, a little bit of filming but really tiny bit but I'll try and do some sort of before and afters and put some, oh look, conjure something up and put it out there in the tube. Um, right, I'm going to go because I'm a twat. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Click like. If you want to subscribe, 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 maybe follow someone else that can speak. <laughs> maybe I should do an outtake. It'll just be my videos. Outtake, like every single video will be an outtake. Yeah, hit subscribe if you want to follow me <laughs> and see more of me being like that. Um, Click on that little bell and you'll be notified when I put a new video up. It's marvellous, isn't it? Marvellous. Um, yeah, and leave me a comment below. Uh, be kind. Always. Be kind always. Have you noticed that? My new sweatshirt. Let me move you. I'm sorry. Don't get dizzy. Be kind guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, I thought I'd quickly come back on and show you my lashes. See what you think. Aren't they great? I love them. Absolutely love them. Aren't they wonderful? Mm. Lush. 
So weird though, but lush. <laughs> Bye again. <laughs> oh yeah, and I've got my sunglasses.